Late Thursday night, Ricardo McRae was found guilty of murder in connection with the mass shooting outside the City Grill restaurant in Buffalo last August. Now a Buffalo church is offering a hefty reward to anyone that helped put the shooter behind bars. True Bethel Baptist Church in Buffalo set up a reward fund for anyone who could offer up information about the suspect or suspects. The church says a handful of people have come forward to claim the $15,000 cash reward. Pastor Darius Pridgen says he even received threats Friday morning from people who claim they deserve the reward. Community activist Darnell Jackson showed up at the reward fund announcement on Friday and told Pridgen he should get the money because he brought McRae to a local TV station where police took him away. I don't know if my feelings have ever been more hurt that we have four people in the grave, that we have children who lost their parents, that we have just not even 24 hours ago a conviction. I'm disappointed that anybody would demand of me and then threaten. Those who feel they deserve the reward are asked to fill out an application. Authorities who assisted in the city grill investigation will work with True Bethel to decide where the money should go. A Dunkirk man has been charged with second degree murder, accused of shooting and killing a 20 year old Silver Creek man. 22 year old David Corsi was arrested by Dunkirk police Thursday night. Police say Corsi shot Ricardo Vasquez twice in the chest at a home on Eagle Street Wednesday night. What concerns me more than anything is that, that really young adults or even kids can actually have and possess uh, enough weaponry to be able to cause someone else's death. Corsi has been charged with second degree murder. It's time for a short break here on Your News Now, but when we return more news and weather, stay with us. The $60 billion plan is a blueprint for the Federal Aviation Administration, which cuts the agency's budget by $4 billion. Republicans say the agency doesn't need the money, while Democrats say the cuts will endanger air safety and would make it harder for the FAA to enforce stricter pilot training guidelines and other safety reforms. Family members of several victims of the Flight 3407 crash, who fought for the reforms following the accident in Clarence Center more than two years ago, traveled to Washington, D.C. this week to fight the amendment. Congresswoman Louise Slaughter released a statement following the vote, which said in part, it is shameful and poses a threat to everyone stepping onto an airplane. This is an insult to the family members of Flight 3407 who have worked so unselfishly to protect the flying public. Slaughter says she will continue to work with the families of Flight 3407 victims to strengthen airline safety regulations. The amendment will now go to the Senate for a vote. Senator Chuck Schumer says he will do everything in his power to block the legislation. An independent candidate in the 26th Congressional District special election has dropped out of the race. In a letter to the State Board of Elections, war veteran David Bellavia says he is officially withdrawing from the race. In the letter, Bellavia says that he filed an insufficient number of valid signatures to get onto the ballot. The Board of Elections says there are four candidates certified to appear on the ballot for May's special election. Republican candidate Jane Corwin, Democratic candidate Kathy Hochul, Green Party candidate Ian Murphy, and independent candidate Jack Davis who is on the Tea Party line of the ballot.